Hey, are you sick and tired of your headphones, ear pads deteriorating over time so that it, they end up looking like this after two years or three years? I am fed up with this stuff. Apparently nobody talks about this, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Today I'm going to show you a type of ear pad that will probably last me a lifetime. Sure, you could find a bunch of replacement pew leather ear pads relatively cheap, but we're gonna end up with the same problem down the road. It's only a couple bucks each time, but it bothers me that I would have to change those ear pads all the time. I thought I'd find some silicone gel ear pads like you would find on these ear protectors. Those are, you know, made for construction, they're made to be tough and durable. So I scored the net and I found these on eBay. And you could probably find them elsewhere, like on, I don't know, AliExpress or a Wish or what have you. Now they're 10 times more expensive. They're 20 bucks instead of two bucks, but I expect them to last. I'm going to install them on my Sony monitoring headphones. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, the diameter of the inner retention ring is not the same on both types of ear pads. So, I guess we're gonna have to strong arm this into place a little bit. Worst case scenario, we might have to cut around the edge to give it a little bit more space to enter. We'll see. The retention band is pretty solid. I don't think you can create a tear in this thing, so might as well give it a fair amount of force and try to put it on. As we can see here, we are at the limit of what it can do. So can it really stretch this way? 20 minutes later. It's always gonna be a game of whack-a-mole. Yeah, from the tension I see here, I will really have to cut this thing. This is where we see if I have wasted $20 or if we can make it work somehow. Just gonna make those little incisions as a way to kind of release the pressure and try again before doing a circular cut. Let's see if just releasing pressure on those points could work. Now, for this to work, we really need to be making a circular cut. Well, that doesn't really look any better. really don't see how that's gonna hold in any fashion. Well, shit. Don't try to cut this thing. It's not gonna work. Many months later. Okay, I can definitely tell you that cutting up this earpiece was a bad idea, actually a stupid idea, because I had to order another one instead. Since I cut this thing, there is no support. Whatever you do, it won't hold onto the earphone. I did manage to put the other one onto the earphone and I'm gonna show you how. And the trick is really to stretch in all directions at the same time. You know, you can try to put it on like this. It, it really does look easier than it is, but it's stupidly hard to try to get those ear pads onto this headphone. As you can see, I'm struggling with this thing. It's horrendous. You just kind of have to fiddle with it 
and then stretch like mad and then hope that at some point you get the upper hand and just kind of stretch it into a bunch of directions at the same time and try to grab it from right from underneath pull it over and there's basically no way to be accurate with this actually what you can do here what I'm doing is putting my finger underneath to kind of push the thing instead of pulling it and so far it seems to be working so here oh I just found the trick Put your finger underneath to be able to push the lip on top of the headphone. And now to finish things up nicely and cleanly, you want to try to pull it back a little bit and put it into the, uh, I would say the gutter or the trench, or I don't know how you'd call that, but there is some area on the headphone where this is supposed to go in theory in practice that's a different thing because you're trying to pull it here without pulling it completely out and you're just kind of stretching the thing again and trying to fit it in place like this see And you just have to fiddle with this thing until it submits to your will. And at the end, you have something that almost resembles what it should look like. Oh, there we go. This looks a little bit, you know, with the rim, it looks a little bit uh, cleaner more intentional than leaving it like this with the lip on top of the headphone. So ideally I want to do the same thing here, pull it into the trench or the gutter or the what have you. Basically, struggle is the name of the game here, and struggle and patience. But, in the end, you end up triumphant. Now, I suspect that maybe some of you audiophiles out there might be saying, but Jeff, come on, this is an insult to those headphones. You didn't put any sort of foam in there like there used to be in the original earpads. That is correct, I did not put any foam in there because there was no foam that came with these things. I guess I could probably cut the foam from the old ones and put it there. I don't care about the cosmetics. I'm not that convinced that it would change the audio quality in any significant way. Should I put the foam back here? Would it actually impact the accuracy and the fidelity of the audio coming from those studio monitors? Let me know in the comments and uh, I might heed your advice. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something new and that you won't repeat the same stupid mistakes I did. I hope you appreciate the sacrifice I've made to get this video done and over to you so that you can do something similar if you want to. Feel free to give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to encourage me to produce more videos and uh, hopefully see you next time.